from Peyton and I'm quite interested in joining the Air Force, so it'll be pretty cool to check out what an aircraft technician does. Aircraft technicians have huge responsibilities for making sure that Air Force's aircraft are ready to fly at a moment's notice. Showing Peyton the nuts and bolts of it all is Corporal Henry Wendelborn, part of a team of technicians responsible for the maintenance on the Hercules of 40 Squadron. G'day, I'm Henry. Welcome to 40. This is where we do the service things on the Herc and the bow. An aircraft technician fixes any faults with the systems, engines, propellers, wheels and brakes, any of the structure of the aircraft. They do everything apart from the electricals. <laughs> the Herc is a cargo plane that is designed to fly into dangerous combat conditions and perform low-level operations. Oh, this is high. That's really cool. Pretty nice, eh? Yes. It can land on short, rough airstrips, so it is designed to take a lot of knocks. This is actually a really solid plane. You can actually jump up and down, you can try it if you like. Mm -hmm. Cool, eh? Mm-hmm. Can't normally do that. It's pretty freaky, though. Oh, feels stable, but it's just scary because we're so high. The surface of this plane is called the skin and it's maintained in a separate bay where Peyton is going to get to work on the aileron trim tab, an important part of the wing control system. Today we're going to replace this piece of hinge wire here. So to do that, we need to remove all of these AD rivets. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. So we just rip into it. This is an actual piece of wing from a Herc, so Peyton doesn't want to mess it up. And getting the drill straight is a skill in itself. Let's just keep it at that stage there. That's real good. We then prise the head off. That's it. Oh. And that's the head that's holding the rivet on. Give it a good, good whack. That's it. And that's all there is to it. And after 250 times, <laughs> you become quite good, like an expert. Possibly. Peyton doesn't have time to drill another 250 rivets. She's off to help conduct an engine run on a hook that's flying this afternoon. Sweet. Cracking those checklist windows. OK. Cool. We're good to go. The engine run is necessary to test components for weaknesses that aren't observable when the engines are shut down. And part of that test is checking the hydraulics of the flaps. After having experienced the power of the engine, Peyton gets to inspect the hot end of an engine turbine in the engine bay. So, like, what exactly am I looking for? Um, see those little holes there? Mm. They generally crack around there because that's where the hot air and the cold air me. Mm. So we'll be looking for cracks or anything missing. This uh, turbine seems to be in quite good condition. So. Mm. Well, this is the combustion can, and by the name of it, that's where the ignition goes on. When we do our maintenance on our engines, we're basically doing inspections, servicings, removing filters, removing components. Nicely done. Beautiful to keep these engines at a high level so we keep these aircraft in there, keep them running. Beautiful. Job well done. Congrats. <laughs> but the engines are not the only things in the Air Force designed for speed. Peyton has put down her wrench and put on her PE clothes to take part in a 24-hour relay competition to help raise money for children's charity. There's quite a bit of competition between the squadrons and units. Uh, the fun run that we're doing today, it'll be in competition with the other units, so we'll see how it gets on. Basically, with us being able to have these social events, sports, etc., uh, it basically builds relationships with other, other people in different units, which creates a camaraderie. So we can go to another, another workplace and know a, a couple of people, two or three at the very minimum, might even know the whole section and it builds relationships in which I don't think you get the, the privilege to have in other, other workplaces. The person competing for 40 Squadron is aircraft technician Erin Smith, and after a disappointing loss to 6 Squadron, she is back at work. Here's our two fire bottles that we're going to fit to the aircraft. Uh, these two fire bottles sit forward and aft in these brackets here. 
So what exactly are they used for? If there's a suspected fire in um, one of the engines, four engines of the aircraft, and that releases the agent and puts the fire out. They get to work, but Peyton has one main concern about joining. I've just been like worried about leaving my friends and family and that get a bit homesick or something. At, at the start I was worried about it. I mean, you do get a bit homesick on recruit course, but once you meet all the people, you've got 60 friends by the time you've finished recruit course, basically, and oh, cool. you keep them for life. It gives you some good experience. You know, it's not just one job that you do all the time. It's a lot of you know, diversity and all that. So what is it like being a female doing a job like this? Is it harder or...? I love it. I couldn't, put, I couldn't do anything else. The guys are great. You know, they'll help you out where you need it. If, if we don't have the strength to do something, well, I'm sure, you know, they're more than welcome to prove that they've got the muscles for it. <laughs> you know, it's, I think it's just you've got to give everything a go. And she's got another job to have a go at, air marshalling. We provide assistance to the captain on where he's to park. And this is our pretend Hercules for today. And what I'd like you to do is stick it on spot 13. Okay. You cool with that? Yes. People who are good for this sort of job would have to be very interested, very dedicated, methodical, so in, in the way they do things, so making sure that you don't miss anything. And people who are very reliable, people who that you can trust, because basically you do jobs and the person who's looking over you is trusting that you've done it. Peyton's done a good job with the paddles, so she gets to walk the wing to make sure that the Hercules doesn't hit anything as it's backed into the hangar. Over in Australia, I got hit by a car. I had 2% chance of surviving. I was in a coma for a week. The Air Force, they flew mum over and offered to pay for accommodation. They kept me on full pay, which is just awesome. I only started work full time 18 months after the accident, so I felt really looked after. That's quite awesome, really. The Herc is parked up, so how did Peyton do? She would do really well in the Air Force. I'm almost 98% sure that I'm going to recruit, so just got to get my fitness up. <laughs> to join the Air Force, you must be 17 years or older and have a minimum of 12 NCEA Level 2 credits in English, Maths and a Science subject. New recruits earn just over $33,000, which increases to almost $41,000 after graduating the recruit course. Additional increases are based on promotion and seniority. The Air Force has a voluntary education scheme where staff can complete tertiary study and be reimbursed for the costs up to $1,800 per year. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.